Hello fellow Hyroleans! I am your guide, the Hyrule Historian, and welcome back to a new episode and a new day of The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker Randomizer, where today we start with a chest, which we are also going to be looking for the Master Sword, and hopefully we can get a hold of it since we're down to the last few key items. And this isn't one of them. I mean, it is a good bit of money, I will say that. But, sadly, it is not what we are looking for. So we are going to be... So we're going to be selling around to some different platforms. And hopefully find the Master Sword within this episode. Since the last episode, if you have not seen it, we attempted to go through the Forsaken Fortress... However, it seems like Phantom Ganon could not be harmed without the Master Sword. So we're just going from island to island and platforms to platforms. Since there's not many more places to go to, so there's only a few places left. And you guys may actually recognize this island since this is where we collected the... Power bracelets. The most expensive item in Wind Waker. Or at least in the Wind Waker randomizer. Boom! So to reach a cave that's over here, we can finally use our bombs to blow up some rocks. Which is always fun. Boom! Boom! Okay, so let's try this once more. Boom! There we go. So there are a few places on my chart that says we have not been to, but I feel like we have. Uh, now, I may be mistaken about it, but such as like this cave here, I felt like we've been to it before, but I could be wrong. So pretty much we're just going to be traveling through a few more places again. And just hope for the best. <laughs> hey, Keith. I have a magic trick for you. Come on. My magic trick is I can make you guys disappear. Within a poof of smoke. Boom! Boom! Hmm. Where did you go? Also, I don't know why I'm not doing this yet, but this is a good time to use the arrows. But, because we actually have not been here, here is our second chest for this episode. What will it be? Yeah, I, I see this happening a lot lately. So, there's only a few more places left. Which one is actually towards the Eastern Fairy Island, which I have, which I think I've been to before. It There's a platform over there where I believe I may not have destroyed all the cannons. But I thought that would have been the only chest there, so... Pretty much in this episode, we're just going to be wandering the Great Sea. On the other hand, there is... Let's see. If we head east... Uh, not there. Yeah, so... Okay, so there's the Six Eye Reef, I believe? That there's a platform there that we need to head to. And then we are going to be heading to a platform towards the Eastern Fairy Island. Anyways though, we are actually getting close to the end of the series. And I'm really wanting to show off the rest of the dungeons. But really all we need is the light arrows and the last piece of the Triforce to beat the game. Now, I guess we would need the 
Master Sword. However, most things are defeated um, with one attack. And uh, hopefully we don't have to run into any more of those sea hats. But at the same time, we do have a curse upon us since we was not able to get through the Forsaken Fortress. So, that, so that's a thing. I mean, there's not much to it. It's just that it's the curse of no progress. I'm heading in the complete wrong direction. But I mean, we can check here anyways, right? Well, there is a chest here. Here, I brought you presents. Aren't you proud of me? Mm, yeah, that that's nice. But, I am kind of glad that we did come here. I mean, we already had this chest. But now we have a new chest. What will lie within it? Let's find out. A piece of heart, which gives us another heart container. I guess that works. So, I guess here's here's a topic for us to kind of talk about. However, it seems like we may be boring Red to death. What are you guys... What is your opinion about the new Link's Awakening? Do you think it's going to live up to what the original was? Or like the DX version? Because... I don't know if a lot of people remembers this, but... Link's Awakening was the first handheld Zelda game. It was the first game that you could actually take around with you, which during that time was awesome. I mean, I remember having it because thinking about it, Link's Awakening would have been my second Zelda game and which actually made me kind of get back into Zelda a little bit more because as a kid, I had so much trouble with Link to the Past because there are so many cryptic things in Link to the Past. But it became one of those games that I just loved. And I just kept on at it. Now we are hopefully at the correct platform. It's right near an eye reef. However, I don't think we're going to get anything from the eye reefs lately. Because those were something that was supposed to be where key items are, but... But yeah, that was supposed to be a key... Th a key place to get items at, but um, something went wrong with the randomizer early on, and Boom! haven't been able to find a key item yet. Um, but I mean, really, some of the main items that we can get is, well, the telescope being one, the tingle tuner being the second one. Hopefully, we can find the master sword or... Ooh. Rupees, rupees, and more rupees. Who loves rupees? Nah. Uh, rupees are nice, but they don't help this situation. But I will say this, and that is, we still need two more Triforce charts. So the rupees are nice, at least to go ahead and give to Tangle. But besides that, I don't see any progress being made. And as I mentioned early on, I don't want to be in this negative mood of saying, well, here we are, we're not really getting anything. We're not getting anywhere. And every item is useless. But I also feel like it's what I said early on as well. 
it's more of... <laughs> it's more of the adventure. And talking about th that episode, we was going through submarines and that just hit me when I flew past that submarine. But, let's see. Actually, I want to head down here because there's the Island of Still, which I do not know if we've been to. There's another eye reef. Anyways, it's down here somewhere. We'll end up finding it. But I feel like I really just want to give y'all more because right now it's just traveling the ocean. I feel like... That is something what well, is supposed to be great about the Wind Waker. So guys, I believe I have found it. However, I'm not sure if we've been here before. This would be a place that we would get a Triforce chart. However, we needed the the bombs. Boom! But on this, oops. Boom! But on the topic of collecting some treasure, there's some treasure underneath us. You know what? I'm not worried about the treasure. I'm just gonna swim right in. Red, how did you get ahead of me? Here it is. This is the moment that we have all been waiting for. To listen to this melody once again. The melody that is so rare. It is only used to control the wind and make random chests appear. With the Triforce behind them. I mean, look at that. So beautiful, so majestic, so mysterious. Let's find out what's inside. Of course. Of course it is. Also, everyone loves rubies. Until you've seen about... 10,000 of them, and then you just get sick and tired of them. So majestic. So mysterious. And now it's just so pointless. Well, I may as well go to the area that my gut was set to. And that was the Eastern Fairy Island. So... Instead of sailing all the way there, let's make this kind of quick. Um, sure. So this is supposed to be where the Tower of the Gods is, but because we don't have the last pearl, it's not here at the moment. This is also the way that we would get into Lower Hyrule. Yes, I know, spoilers. Something I've been trying to hold back on so much. But still, yeah, Hyrule's been flooded, but by now we all know that. Oh, and I just thought of one other thing that we could do as well. There's the Birdman minigame. Does the Ritos have the Master Sword? Is that what the prize is at the Birdman minigame? Um, yeah. Okay, Red. You can let me off here. Just make sure you don't get hit by a cannon. Because I am about to blow this place up. So two things I need here. The Deku Leaf being one. Imagine that. And the bombs!
There we have it. We have a treasure chest. I'm letting all of this stuff go to waste. What shall it be? <gasps> awesome! Yes, we have another useless bottle that is not that useless. So, bottle two on the list. However, this is an empty bottle. And thanks to the randomizer as well, some of you may notice something. Yeah. Something happened, alright. If you're not aware, we had to drain that bottle to fight Phantom Ganon. And, and now it's filled back up. Because the randomizer likes acting up. Can we make it? Do we have the energy? Hopefully. Well, there's a long swim waiting for us. Hey guys, I brought you something. Hope you like explosives. Da 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 da! And we're actually collecting a lot of chests within this episode. Blue, you better not jump off. So, I know what the thumbnail is going to be for this episode. Uh, guys, what am I forgetting? I, I know I am forgetting something but there has to be some sort of exploit probably I I mean there's still the Birdman contest I will admit that and it's not too far from us ten rupees Sign me up. Now all we need is timing. We jump too early, it's not going to go good for us. Go too late, and the longer you guys have to watch. Don't set the wind direction in the correct way you need to go. That proves to be my own problem. Um... Flight distance was 256 yards. Uh, yes, a whopping 256 yards. Thinking about it with um, the Deku Leaf, that's pretty good. But at the same time, that's almost a short distance. I mean, that's kind of half of this square that we're in, like for the grid. Sadly, even though... We did a good distance. We didn't win. We didn't win. You know what? Let's just go ahead and go. Let's just go for it. Stop, stop. 
I feel like now trying it out once before, the wind direction is there, but blue is not. Okay. I kind of started off with a slight curve. What's killing me? It's it's there. Oh, come on. It's right there. And we have liftoff. Are you kidding? We made it! Yes, we made it. So, what is our prize, you may ask? Hopefully more magic and something else. Blue is sad when she doesn't have that magic. And our distance was 259. That wasn't far off from our first try. This better be something good. Watch. We're going to get a treasure chart or some rupees. <laughs> I guessed it. We ended up getting a treasure chart. And they don't replenish our magic. At least we got more bombs. So guys, that was a thing. This has been an adventure. However, one last place to try. And I think I'm going to call it here. So, my tracker has been telling me that there is one last platform in the very corner of the map where we have been to before but we just could not destroy the cannons there's the platform and as you can tell with the weather the curse is still upon us will we be able to break the curse because there's still only one thing that can destroy it that can cure us. And sadly, that's not bombs. Or a cell, but thanks for but thanks for letting us know, Blue. Blue is like I would say Blue is like Santa, delivering presents to all the good girls and boys. But it's like the thing that takes away the naughty kids. Yeah. Here. Oh, well, guys, this is the final chest for this episode. 
hope there's something good, or else we're not going to be able to go through any more dungeons. <laughs> A Triforce chart. I will take. We are missing two of them, and Triforce charts do hold key items. Whew, this has been a crazy episode. And of course, our main prize is in the last chest. I will accept it. So guys, I hope you have all enjoyed this episode. It's been... something. <laughs> Anyways, don't please don't forget to leave a like or a comment below. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to blast that bell. But besides that, guys, this has been the Hyrule Historian here with Blue. But see you all in the next episode, guys. Later. <laughs>